about it. <laughs> oh, right? It's snake shedding? Yeah. We're doing a video because there's people that oh, yeah, say 100%. helping a snake shed yeah. is harmful. I have more experience than any of you. Damn. You're more a experience. Sure so I don't care it. what you are. For the, these are for the naysayers. And I would never even, even bother to say this. My best friends are ball pythons. Yeah, best friends are space ball pythons. This was Jeremy in middle school, I feel yeah. like. I mean, kind of. No but I friends. also tried to imitate Steve Irwin a lot, so he'd be like, Yay, ball pythons! Crikey! Don't Crikey. do it. Look Don't do it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to get right. Now try with both hands up, and you're manhandling snakes. I'm, dude. Ball pythons, ball. So, we're talking about snakes shedding. So here's a spider ball python, the amazing spider ball. Uh, this animal is not in shed. It's not getting ready to shed. Uh, this is pretty much what your normal ball python would look like uh, when it's not going through a shed cycle. So the reason why we're talking about this is because we recently posted a clip on our Instagram uh, where we were assisting a Boland's python shed. And that animal was more than ready to shed. It had already started shedding on its own and we started to assist it. And for some reason, people think that that's harming the snake and we're hurting the snake and we're terrible people. And no matter how many times we tell people that's actually not the case, uh, they don't seem to believe it. Um, supposedly there have been studies, non-peer reviewed studies happening out there about harming snakes. So today we're gonna talk a little bit more about what it means to assist a snake in shed. All right, so I'm gonna call on the amazing Nina to do two things. Hi, oh, Nina. Two things. Hi. Take one snake and do Thank you. another. You take that small boy. So do you know why a snake sheds? Why? Why? All right, there we go. Thank you for talking back to me. Yep. So, <laughs> so when a snake sheds, it means it's growing. So baby snakes tend to shed a lot because they're growing faster. They have to get to adulthood. When it's an adult snake, it's going to shed less frequently because it's reached its adult size. That's literally it. Mind it's blown. Anything. It's spectacular. Good. So when a snake goes into shed, it starts secreting this fluid that separates the new skin from the old skin. And there's a couple different kind of terms for it. Some people call it going into blue. Some people call it opaque. Um, I call it shedding. It's also called shedding. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, and you, if you look at this animal's eyes, you'll see that its eyes are kind of bluish. There's like a grayish blue. So that's where we get the, it's in blue. Nina's saving that ball. Thank God for Nina. Thank falling you. Falling over the edge. So we're also going to notice like on this animal, the belly gets kind of like this milky, cloudy look to it. The colors start to dull out. Sometimes, especially on bigger snakes, you might actually start to hear them breathe because believe it or not, going into the nose, there are some scales there, some nostril scales. And when the skin starts to expand to come off, it kind of blocks the nostrils a little bit. So you might start to hear them breathe. It doesn't mean the snake has like respiratory infection or anything like that. It just means it's got some skin in its nose. Um, but this is pretty much true for just about every single snake when it goes in the shed. Now, there's a couple key things as the keeper that you need to be able to do during this time. First thing is make sure the animal has either a large enough water bowl to soak in or maybe a humid hide, so a hide box with like some damp sphagnum moss in it. That humidity is key. When the snake doesn't get enough humidity, we get what's called a stuck shed or a dry shed. And that's what we're going to look at right now on another ball python that believe it or not, is not a spider ball. So this normal ball python maybe didn't have enough humidity in the enclosure, which sometimes happens, especially if the enclosure has maybe too much ventilation. Um, the humidity just kind of just goes right back into the air. So it's not uncommon to see this. So basically what's happening here is the snake was able to get some of the shed off by the face. You can see it looks pretty normal. This, that part of the animal is no longer in shed, but you can see where the animal is kind of flaking off here on the sides. Now, this animal is not in pain because of this at all. It's certainly frustrated, maybe itchy. So this is kind of equivalent to when you uh, get a sunburn, your skin starts to peel, you get kind of itchy. 
and like chunks of skin fall off, the, the epidermis falls off. What? <laughs> you know, okay. You're scratching, okay. right? Yeah. So it's easier to see on a larger scale like a snake because snakes shed their skin. People, we generally, we shed our skin, but it's often in small microscopic pieces or maybe barely visible pieces. So it was a constant, okay. I promise you. So you could, without harming the snake, peel back a tiny piece of that skin. And because it's dry, you're not going to get much off, right? So I'm just kind of getting these tiny little pieces off. But notice this, the snake isn't wincing, it's not freaking out, it's not hissing. Those are some indicators that the snake might be in pain or angry at what's happening, and that's certainly not happening at all. This snake is like, whatever, I'm just kind of here, existing, and you're taking skin off of me. But you can see, it sounds... Is it oddly satisfying? Is that what you want to say? Maybe, <laughs> but you can hear it kind of... Crispy, yeah, like it's, it. it's falling off. You want to hear it? Get, get oh, it okay. This is Jerry's <laughs> no idea how. Oh god! I'm gonna get really close to your camera and go out of focus. <laughs> it's for the noise. It's for the noise. It's for the noise. Yep. Just cut to black right there and just go for the. Just cut to black. Like yeah, you got it. <laughs> Fade to black. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> Dude. So I know it's cringy. I'm not a camera it's, guy. It's okay. <laughs> so. If you just keep, you know, trying to peel these little pieces off the snake, the snake might start to get annoyed because you're just picking at it and poking it. So it doesn't mean that the animal's in pain, but it certainly means it's getting annoyed that you just keep poking at it. So in an instance like this, when an animal has a stuck shed or a dry shed, it's an animal that we might want to put to soak in a small container of water, of warm water, for maybe an hour or two. And uh, an animal like this, you want to put like maybe an inch, inch and a half of warm water and put the lid on, of course, leave some holes for ventilation. But that humidity that's going to now happen in that tub as the water's steaming is going to help this come off. Then you can go in and instead of peeling off tiny little pieces like this, you can actually get the rest of this stuck shed off. And in fact, you're actually allowing the snake to be a bit relieved, again, thinking that this is probably kind of itchy for the snake. You know, when a stuck shed happens like this, you might see the snake kind of rubbing up against items in the enclosure or maybe just rubbing up against the wall of the bin, however you keep your animal set up. And that's literally just because, like, it's like, ah, this is annoying. Um, again, the animal's not in pain. That is the key thing, right? So we were immediately thinking, like, oh, the snake must be in pain. It's hurting. It's certainly not the case. The time where shedding skin actually becomes painful for the snake is if while that animal's still in blue, where the eyes are still cloudy, or maybe just after it's come out of being in blue, and you're like, oh, okay, snake's ready to shed, and you start rubbing the snake like crazy trying to get the shed off, the shed skin's coming off too early, and you're not allowing that uh, layer, uh, the, the old layer of skin to actually fully come off the new layer of skin. So in that instance, when you do that, you'll feel, if you feel the snake on that skin you just peeled, it's sticky, and that's from that fluid still being attached to the snake, it's still there. So that's an instance where then you have issues with scales and skin irritation and stuff. That is painful. That certainly is painful. That's kind of like saying, okay, well, I have a little bit of dry skin here. It's New England, it's winter, it's cold. Those of us who live here get dry skin on our hands more often than not just because it sucks out here. Um, and if you don't use lotion, you're ashy. Not, and uh, <laughs> Jeremy's not going to date you. you I'm, no, I'm not. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's the turn off. Uh, so now imagine that you're like, okay, I have this little tiny piece of skin that is dry. I'm going to grab it and I'm just going to pull and like rip all this other skin off. It's going to hurt. You know, you ever pull like a hangnail or like you get that little piece of skin under your nail and you like yank it off and suddenly like you're bleeding and you're like, oh, I should have done that. Thumbnail. Same kind of, con literally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like, stop, stop. 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 Dude, I can't. Oh my God. So the big thing to think about here is this, that snake is going to react when, the, if you pull that shed too early, it is going to have a reaction. It's going to buck you. It's going to wince away, or it's going to straight up come around and bite you. That is how snakes tell you they're in pain and they're not enjoying what's happening. They're going to pee on you. They're going to buck you off. They're going to bite you. They're going to hiss all these things. So when you see a video of a snake being shed and you're not seeing that, don't want to tell you guys, the snake's not in pain. It's not having that physical reaction. Mm. You mm. guys wonder what's happening right now. We're, we're trying to get thumbnails. Yeah, well, bar check doesn't do this shit. That's right, yeah. That's right. He's not here. Get him. I'm waiting for Kevin to like totally interrupt. He, yeah. He, he was there. Because he was there. I was like, oh, he's going to try to do something. 
Okay. Yeah, he won. He loves attention. Oh, he totally does. Kevin loves attention. He so does. does Jeremy, though. I do. From time to time, it's it's nice. Oh, I thought he was gonna what? come. In. Look at him. Look at him. He's staring down. He's gonna come in here. This yeah. is a this is a Kevin free zone. What? Oh, he Jesus, stopped. Jesus. He stopped at his I'm own not, building. Don't we gotta lure him in with the water? This is not vegan. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go work out, so I'm being bad. Same. Yeah, do, you, do you do hot yoga? So, yeah, so what we were gonna do for the video, guys, is um, you know, Jeremy's just gonna eat a whole bunch of snake skins. Is it, is it snake skin? Yeah. For this thing right here? Yeah, yeah, that. It's not vegan, Kevin. Oh! <laughs> oh, that was, that was brutal. Wow. Oh! <laughs> Dude, that was resting on poop. Okay. That was that was not planned. Oh, <laughs> that was right. not. That was not. No. This is, this is proof. Proof what? That reptiles don't make you sick. Oh yeah. Because you know this is never been This isn't proof. We have to come back to next week yeah, when you're still matter. alive. Won't then matter. it's gonna it die. Won't matter. <laughs> That'll be a Look new that. story. What Chug was it. that? It's an emerald tree boa. Do All they right. taste differently than other snakes? No. Does <laughs> python skin man. taste different from boa skin? Oh, well, there's the. Uh, we just delete all the content we made earlier. <laughs> just make that, that a video. I don't know if you knew, but when you peel snake skin off a snake, it injures them, and they hate it. They don't like it. Really? Yeah, what's the whole video is really about, actually? Yeah. That's what that, you guys are doing, video? Yeah. Really? So, peeling snakes. So, when a snake is go. shedding, the snake is beginning to shed and has already started the process. Yeah. Helping them is not a bad thing at all. Yeah, I don't that's what we're talking see. about. You're acting like the comment section gives us, like, really valuable advice. Real. If and only they had other reptile channels they could watch. It sucks that they have to watch you, and they, you know? It, it sucks. Does right. I mean, it head. sucks for the guy, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna take out a pretty. Uh oh, now. Nina, he's messing with all your stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, he's shedding. Oh, he's not. Yes. Oh. What do you mean? <laughs> now, if I were to try to shed him right now, very bad. Yeah. Why is that bad? Because what they're doing is they're doing all the tissue repair underneath this old skin, and this is a very uh, delicate time where they're frail so I don't want to desiccate them I also don't want to have any kind of abrasions and generally a lot of times snakes when they're shedding they go quiet uh, they ultimately uh, their eyesight uh, is reduced and they tend to just want to stay hidden and that's great this guy was in his little high box nice and warm Thank you. very very happy but uh, once the snake begins to shed so if Nina was lucky enough to catch him in some point of a shed process I would have no problem Nina enjoying five minutes with the snake and giving it a nice shed. See, so maybe come back in the uh, room. Bye. Okay, yeah, so we came back in this room because on our search to find a snake that was in the middle of shed, I actually found uh, one of our emerald tree boas had shed its skin. Um, but here we're looking at uh, a unique instance. Wow. <laughs> that means I'm doing a good job. <laughs> oh, what is that? <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm nervous. Uh, so this is a unique instance where, you know, obviously this snake has pretty much shed completely, but notice that it's in pieces. So we have the head and then the skin kind of rips off on the neck here. That's kind of where we were left off with here. And we have the chunk of the belly scales here. And you can see all this kind of tearing and stuff that has happened since then. So sometimes in an instance like this, uh, we'd kind of look at the at the snake, make sure that it's actually, especially that first third of the bodies of the snake's body, um, and make sure that it's gotten all the pieces of that skin off. Because in those instances, sometimes they can have a patch of the shed where this animal was clearly ready to shed. It has essentially done a complete shed, but there might be a small patch on the back or some place that's not necessarily easy for the snake to kind of move around and get access to on a branch or something in the enclosure and go check. And if that animal didn't shed a piece, we'd help them shed it off so it doesn't just become this annoying flaky piece of skin. Um, so that's certainly one of the aspects of snakes shedding um, where that snake is totally able to shed and it's not going to harm the snake if we shed that little piece off of it. Um, but it's something that we have to take into consideration when we're working with snakes, especially animals that require more humidity like these emerald tree boas and a lot of other arboreal species. Um, you know, even with that amount of humidity, that stuck piece that didn't come off for whatever reason can still dry uh, on the animal and become really annoying. And we're of course gonna try to take that off without harming the snake. There is a time when you absolutely can help a snake shed with no harm to the animal. If I'm 
shedding a snake and the thing is flailing around and it's losing its mind, well, clearly the snake is getting some stress over that. And generally most people will be like, you know, obviously the snake doesn't really like it. There are plenty of times where the animal desiccates a little bit, it's in its enclosure, something's dried it out, it wasn't able to find its water, the animal itself is dehydrated, maybe you've rescued an animal, all these different things. Sometimes they have multiple different sheds. But shedding an animal that has begun the process. So we're not talking about just one day, you know what, let's be fun, let's do a video, let's start peeling a snake. That is horrific, because that's a great way to kill a snake. You can also damage a snake terribly. So if I were to actually start peeling the snake's skin and it starts getting sticky, where it's very protein and stuff like that, where the animal actually hasn't uh, basically formed its underlying skin that's now going to be its exterior, if it hasn't formed that yet and you start shedding it, that is indeed bad. But a snake that's begun to shed and you're enjoying the interaction of the animal, that'd be just like, don't hold snakes. You shouldn't hold snakes. When you're shedding a snake, and a lot of times we have these snakes, you just sit there and shed and the snake just crawls out. It's almost like the snake enjoys it. I, I'm sure in some cases the snake actually does enjoy it. But you're also talking to people with experience. Jeremy deals with thousands of snakes all the time. I don't see Jeremy, I never have to worry about Jeremy pre-shedding one of my snakes before it's ready to shed. If he goes in there and plays with the snake and deems that it's ready to shed, good. That's what he's doing and I don't even question it. I, I don't even know how this is a video subject. In a lot of cases, you get animals where they do um, retain a shed. And let me tell you a couple things that are bad about that. When the animal retains its shed, other than the fact that it will further desiccate another shed that comes underneath there, um, as they retain the shed, they'll also get bacterial and fungal infections because now you have this dead layer of skin, which is a perfect, all this beautiful keratin, all these proteins are perfect food for things like fungus and bacteria. So if the animal's trapped with that and in its cage it's getting normal coliform uh, uh, ambient bacteria and such like that, they're going to start having a media that's going to feed bacteria and fungus and that can actually cause problems to the healthy skin underneath. So generally when I have a snake that uh, is desiccated, we certainly do a lot of rescue snakes here at New England Reptile and Zoo Creatures, uh, but we generally go through a soaking process. And sometimes you'll soak snakes for days. I mean, I've had snakes five, six, seven days. We soak them as long as you're keeping the water clean. You're putting them in shallow enough water where the animal's not really stressed out. You want to manage the temperatures of the water, depending if it's a colubrid or it's a boa, that's going to be indicative of what temperatures you're going to keep it at. But you really want to get that old shed off it. You certainly want to get it off the eyes and the eye caps. And occasionally I've seen people get confused when they're trying to shed a snake and they try to peel off the eye cap, like a healthy eye cap. So within, you know, within reasonable levels, you have to know something about what you're doing. <laughs> Alright guys, bye and uh, thanks bye. for tolerating us, I suppose. Yeah. And if you if you hate us because of shedding snakes, not that I really even leave a comment. Leave, leave a comment and tell me why. And tell me what what did I didn't what I didn't cover and I don't understand all the hate <laughs> what, if there's any hate. Everything but, you hate about Kevin, just put it in the I comment. But I am very hateable folks, nice. so I get it. That's why I like Cuba Dino dolls. What? Get Kevin. No, 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 be careful. It might be injured. <laughs> <laughs> we just let tarantulas kind of roam because we have a lot of roaches that get out. Like, free range tarantulas. We need free range tarantulas. Oh, no. With the like, duck shorts. Have you seen the duck shorts? Guy? Wearing sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, the ducks are wearing sunglasses because they're cool ducks. They're not lame ducks.